What is up, Fortnite fans? Jath here, back with another Clutch Up FNCS recap. This FNCS was absolutely insane. We witnessed true greatness, especially by the first place team. We had some surprising teams at the top of the leaderboard and some veteran duos showing why they are among the best. Let's get right into it. Getting right into game number one here, we have Iamzo and Dijin on the high ground versus Cease and Elite on the low ground. And DJ is going to be able to clutch this up, securing them the first game victory royale. Getting into game number two, we have clicks and day on height. And this end game is absolutely stacked with huge names. Uga and Miro are still fighting for the victory royale, as well as Jamper and Dukes. Clicks and Day are going to drop down from height, and they're going to be able to clutch out game number two. Getting into game number three here, Rise has absolutely no regard for pedestrians and he's going to flatten cold. Oliver OG and Playify are not playifying around as they're going to win this game from the low ground against Joji and Rokane. In game number four, Byla and Knifer fragged out with almost 10 elims. But in the end, it's going to be Cam Slam and Bucky on height who are going to close this game out. In game number five, we took a, take a look at the number one off spawn fight in Grands. We've seen so much competitive beef about this drop spot. Um, and Rise and Agers think they are rising up here to defeat Sprite and Nounzi, but they do end up falling. I think Miro's going to go down after getting an Elim for himself, and it's going to be up to Buga to clutch up some extra points here. He grabs an Elim on Squish. We have three duos and Booga left in this game with Stretch Commandment, Chimp and Spade, and Clicks and Day on height. But in the end, it's Clicks and Day in a 1v2, and they do not lose these. In game number six, Kanata goes up for height with Acorn, but Clicks and Day are going to be able to take them down. Kanata's now in a 1v2 with a nice armored wall to block him off and make him go down here. Clicks and get, they get chopped off on hype, and now it is their time to frag out on low ground.
is a 2v1v1 with the solo on height he's actually going to be able to take down day here omg me too clutches out as a solo and takes down clicks for the win the standings after day number one show miro and buga in first place uh, but spade and chimp are closely following them with 184 only four points behind jamper and dukes in the top three as well the clutch from omg me too puts them at top four with 179 and a knife uh knifer and byla are sitting top five even after being contested off spawn uh, we have clicks in day in sixth agers and rise in seventh acorn cannot in eighth Joji and Rokane, ninth, and Smite and Larson in 10th. Keep an eye out for those guys. Uh, They're going to absolutely dominate in day two. Five alive, we're going to see a 2v2v1. Buga as a solo. He's going to try to take down Scented and Cold, while Kanata and Acorn are going to start pressuring from the high ground. Buga hits a max pump. Uh, but now we're going to see the classic low ground versus height and Kanata is already up here playing aggro and they're going to be able to take game number seven in game number eight we're going to see two of the top teams go head to head jamper takes out day and clicks is going to take out dukes Clicks finds a wall on Jamper and he's going to easily take him out, getting that revenge for his duo day. Miro is going to go down to the duo of users and threats who are also going to find Liquid Stretch on low ground. And now it's going to be a 2v2 between users, threats, Polarize, and Nico. Users and threats are going to chop out height from the low ground, but in the end, height is going to win as it usually does. In game number nine, Buga is able to clutch out as a solo, earning them a few extra points, and they're able to hold first place. Spade and Chimp are going to end up going down to Storm as they can't climb that mountain. And Larson and Smite are actually going to take out Scented and Cold, and this is going to be their game that pushes them all the way up the leaderboard. Hyde is going to get chopped out, and Smite and Larson are actually going to win this from the low ground. All while Vert is trying to run in from Storm, he takes one down, but Larson actually wins it. In game number 10, Chimp and Spade are actually below Surge and get into a fight with Champer and Dukes. They're going to trade one for one here, but Champer ends up getting the res uh, while Spade gets full finished. And now Chimp is left here as a solo. After Chimp has been fighting to hold on here, he's finally going to go down to Storm Surge and Buga and Miro are still alive, keeping them in first place. Buga and Miro are running the low ground with now their eighth elimination. They're really starting to pull away in this tournament. Miro is going to clutch a third place, but eventually he goes down to Acorn and Kanata on high ground. And this is ultimately going to gift them the victory royale. We're going to see Kanata versus Pure and Crunchy in a heal off, but because Kanata has the med mist, uh, he's going to be able to win it and secure them the first place. Going into game number 11, we can see Miro and Buga have really ran off with this. They have 336 points with the second place team trailing with 272. That is almost two victory royales needed to catch up. Acorn and Kanata are in third, Jamper and Dukes in fourth, Smite and Larson in fifth, Day and Clicks in sixth, Commandment and Stretch in seventh, uh, Cold and Scented in eighth, Trashy and D Roller in underrated team who we haven't heard a lot about in ninth and shadow and omg me too in 10th at this point it's a fight for second place but don't go anywhere because there are still some epic moments that are yet to come we have a 2v2v1 between tabney death cold scented and then we have layify who eventually goes down and now we will look at the 2v2 between height and low ground and with tabney low here it is not looking good for them Death and Tabne are going to make a push for high ground. But Scented is going to hit some nice shots to take down Death. Tabne in a 1v2 here actually does a pretty good job and takes down Scented. But Cold is going to clutch up for the win. Looking at the standings one more time before we head into the last game, it is clear that Buga and Miro have really ran away with this. 
Uh, they now have a 69 point lead over second place. Um, so all these teams are going to be fighting for that second place prize. Chip absolutely pops off there and goes down after hitting Nosh with a 24 shotgun shot. And now we see a 1v1 versus Magnolia and Nosh. Magnolia with a huge health advantage and the height advantage. Surely he's going to be able to clutch out this game. We're going to see the Tfue peak come out here and he cleanly closes this out. In the end, Buga and Miro are able to win their third FNCS in a row together, putting them in the greatest players of all time conversation. We had Spade and Chimp, kind of a team that was slept on here. They're able to pull out second place. Smite and Larson, also an underdog, pulling the third. Jamper and Dukes returning for an, a great placement in their duo FNCS. Uh, scented and cold, a fan favorite. Uh, they were able to serve the, secure the top five. Acorn and Kanata with their tilted drop spot were able to secure the sixth place. Day and Clicks as well in seventh. Commandment and Stretch in eighth. The Roller and Trashy in ninth. And Peterbot and Quanti sneak in here for the 10th place finish. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video with Clutch Up Esports. Uh, we are going to be the go-to place to find these FNCS highlights uh, till the end of time. Make sure to like and subscribe if you do enjoy the video and leave a comment on what your favorite game was. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.